Hello and welcome back to another Made With Love tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate stitch. Duplicate stitch is a technique that we use in lots of the Made With Love jumper kits and also on the blanket and I'm going to show you because it takes something that can look quite plain and make something a little bit more special and you can embroider, you can write names, you can do all kinds of different things. So what we're going to do is initially take your darning needle and put the yarn onto it like as if you were going to sew something together. So here is ready to go. Now, in stockinette stitch, you can see these V's that we have. And that's something that we have quite often uh, whenever we're knitting. So to be able to duplicate stitch, we're gonna find our needle at the bottom of one of these V's. You'll be able to go into one of the holes that here like so, and you'll come up from the back to the front and you'll pull up the length of yarn, leaving a nice long tail at the end to weave in. Now you see these bars here, like so, we are going to duplicate that stitch, hence duplicate stitch. So we're gonna go up here, and as you can see, we've entered here. Now we need to go underneath the legs of the stitch above. These are what, like the Vs are essentially the legs of the stitch. So we're going up here, and then we're gonna go in behind this stick, this leg, and this leg to the other side, and we're gonna pull through, like so. Gently, don't pull it too hard, because if you pull it too hard, it creates a little bit of rumples and ruffles in your work, which you won't want. So once you've gone through that bit, you go back through where you came, like so, and then you pull that length of yarn through. And as you can see, it duplicates the stitch and creates its own little V. Now, what we need to do to go further up, because I'm going to do a little T for you, you need to then go into the next stitch up. So where we went in from here before, we now go in through the next stitch. So we come up through there, like so, pull the yarn through until you get a bit of resistance, and then you follow that stitch up and go behind the legs of the stitch above. So you're going above the legs of the stitch above, and it's always good in duplicate stitch to work up and then across. Don't try and go all over the place because if you keep it going up, that is where you're gonna get the neatest work. So like so, you're following that stitch, and then you're gonna go back in where you came. And that again now creates the second duplicate stitch, like so. And you're gonna follow that up again. So again, where we came in here before, we now go in the next stitch above. So you pull that yarn through, then you follow the stitch, go underneath the legs of the stitch from the one above, pull through, and then back down where you came. And again, to go for the next stitch up, we're gonna go through the base of the V, pull up the length of yarn, Follow the stitch up and go behind the legs of the stitch above, pull it through and then go back down in where it came. And as you can see, it's creating this duplicate stitch and it's making it look like you were changing color the whole way up because you've got these Vs. And I'm gonna do one more to go up. And then when you start wanting to change direction and go to somewhere slightly different, once you've done your vertical row, and if I'm making a T for example, I'm gonna to have to now go across a little bit. So to go across, Obviously, I've just done the duplicate stitch through this one here. Now I'm gonna go across one stitch, and that's one across, and then I'm gonna go across to the next V, that's the second one across, and I'm just gonna then start to pull up that length of yarn through that one, because I'm gonna go from here across. So as I've just come through here, I'm going to go underneath, as you can see, I, I don't wanna go underneath these bars, I wanna go underneath the bars of the stitch above, like so, and then back through where I came. And then to go across to the next one, I'm gonna, I just done this stitch, so now I'm gonna go across to the next stitch, pull it up through, and then go underneath the legs of the stitch of the stitch above, creating, again, a nice little V, which is duplicating our stockinette stitch. So once we've got there, we're now gonna go across to the next stitch, which is this one here. I'm gonna pull it up and go underneath the bars of the one above as before. And there are going to be little patterns and little grids in your kits to show you how to create different pictures and different letters depending on which kit that you have. Now we're gonna go through here like this and to finish it off with the lovely T and you can now see how you can get so creative with all the different things when you are knitting your work. 
and you're going to leave like lots of long ends on the back that you'll weave in at the end of your project and if you don't know how to weave in your ends I have another video for that as well but here you are and that was how you do a duplicate stitch Thank you for watching that Made With Love tutorial. I hope it was useful to you, but if you need any more help with your knitting or anything crafty, we have plenty more tutorials where that came from. So for now, keep making with love.